Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where we have to copy off washed up has been green berets because we don't know what else to do. Not. Copy it off of us, you fucker. Little pussy. Damn. Yeah. So, we've got an episode for you today. Um, when you're watching this, uh, well, first of all, we got new microphones, and one of the two isn't working, so I have a support ticket in with Rode. So, that's why this one's hanging out in here. This one would normally be on my face, but because we didn't want to use mix match of the old ones and these ones, we're just using one. And it sounded one like this sounded better than two of those, but this, when it's in my face, Sounds really good. So, um, huge audio improvements coming as soon as Rode takes care of that. Um, from what I read, they had really good support. So, yeah. And this one you can hear it on the laugh. So that should be a bonus for people wearing headphones. Don't want their eardrums blown out. Thanks. You're welcome. So this episode is brought to you by nonafelps.com. We'll get some insurance. Uh, link is down in the description. It's also brought to you by America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lee Max Media. Link down in the description. Go check those out. Check out our website. Check out all the links. Make sure you get subscribed. This uh, cutoff for our 500 subscriber giveaway is June 30th at 11.59 seconds. Um, uh, Eastern time, specifically. And after that, uh, Ju July 1st, we'll start tallying up all the people that are eligible. So it'll take a little while because there have been a lot of comments on all the videos. And remember, every comment on any video is an eligible entry. All you have to do is be a subscriber on YouTube and leave a comment. That's all you have to do. Very simple giveaway. How many subscribers do we have right now, Andrew? I don't know. Like 400. So we're only like 100 away? Yeah. And then yeah. somebody might win? Yep. Wow. The announcement will be July 8th. So get subscribed. Leave a comment. And we have already announced, I believe, in an episode what our next uh, giveaway is going to be. It's a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And everybody so far has voted that they want two $500 giveaways. Okay. So if you don't win this one, stay subscribed. And you leave can win the next yep. one. Yep. Um, yeah. Just you know, keep up with it. Every entry counts. It doesn't matter if you left a, a comment on an old video or tomorrow's video. Okay. All of them count. Uh, okay, let's move right in. Talking about Mike here real quick. So today is the next, I don't even know what number it is, like fourth or fifth hearing. Uh, today is the next WebEx hearing. That'll be about three hours after, no, hold on, because it's mountain time. be five hours after this video comes out okay. is Mike's hearing. Um, they were the... Defense had asked for additional time to provide medical evidence from Jessica. Yeah. Um, she has representation of her own, though, so I don't know what all is going on. But, you know, there's people saying, oh, she broke it a week before dirt biking. Okay, that might be true. That still doesn't change what he did. Right. So I don't, I don't know to say that it helps him. I mean, it might, the severity of the act can be downplayed, but everything else still he's accused of. I mean, it doesn't, really, you're just talking about a scale now. Like, how severe was his accused or his alleged crime, right? It's not, oh, he gets away with it because it was already broken. Right. No, if I broke your arm right now, or rebroke it, or added to the damage to your arm, that doesn't mean that I didn't harm you. Right. Like if you went outside right now and tripped and fell and like broke your pinky mm -hmm. and then I walked up to you and like squeezed your hand as hard as possible, I still have caused you harm. Right. That's something that people don't seem to understand. Like just because she already had an, and actually in my opinion, mm -hmm. that would make it worse. If right. he knew, right. if he knew, if he knew that it was broken, right. Or if he knew that she had an existing injury. Because you can have, you know, hairline fractures, things like that, that might cause a little bit of pain, but, you know, you don't lose any mobility. It might, you might kind of have some aches and pains and things like that, but it all depends. Like, we haven't seen the x-rays, so we don't know. Nobody has seen them other than her, maybe him, 
the doctor, probably at this point the attorneys. Right. But we don't know if she even went to see the doctor prior. So this is all just kind of completely up in the air. It's, it's complete just conjecture. Complete speculation at this point. If she did go to the doctor, there will be obviously evidence of something pre-existing. Mm -hmm. That gives them something to compare it to. If they right. don't have that, then it's just the doctor's opinion. Right. And they're not only going to take Mike's attorney's doctor's opinion. They're going to want their own doctors to look at this of evidence. Of so, course. Um, but it, it goes back to the VA thing real quick that we talked about. In the courts, they're going to ask questions like, is it at least as likely mm -hmm. or is it just as likely? I don't know how the court will weigh those opinions, but when talking about the VA, if it's 50-50, the VA has to side with the veteran. So if you had an injury that potentially you didn't know about in the, while you were serving, and then you got an opinion from a doctor and they asked, is it at least as likely that this happened while in service and just didn't flare up until now? And if the doctor can say yes, then you're gonna earn that percentage towards your rating. Right, so more than likely they would err on the side of caution and yeah. go towards the victim yeah. and it is yeah. more than likely. Potentially. So, yeah, the whatever the fuck his moron's name is that's going around saying he's going to be exonerated and all this complete fucking clickbait. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And then you said he was trolling? He wasn't trolling. He was just being a fucking moron. Oh, you're copying me. No, we're not copying you, dude. We're making fun of you. We're posting with the actual facts and then tagging with your stupid headline. So when people click it, they're like, oh... Why didn't this guy talk about that? Because he's an idiot. Because he doesn't actually have any of the information. And then to come to our channel, a smaller channel, and just talk trash to us, like, that just shows your character, dude. We didn't go to your channel and post comments, but we do know that you've been deleting comments because our commenters have been sending us screenshots. Small dick energy. Yeah. They've been posting comments, links... You know, updated information, stuff to our channel, this and that. And they've been sending us screenshots. He's been deleting them. Interesting. Yep. So, we have all that, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. He has his entire DD214 in his channel's bio. Why? Because that's all he is, is his DD214. He has nothing else to give the world. So fucking weird. And so here's the here's the thing too. Like, you're selling weapons instruction, self defense, stuff like that. He's doing similar things to what FCS and Mike are doing, right? Oh. So, but here's but here's the thing. None of what's in his bio qualifies him for any of that. Okay. You can go find some of the best weapons instructors and best self defense people in the world that mm -hmm. have never served. Okay. These people that do like three gun competitions and stuff like that, that like they literally have practiced their entire life and they dedicate, you know, they put the money into it. They hire mm -hmm. the right people. They do this and that. Like those people are awesome at what they do. Mm -hmm. From what people have said on Reddit about Mike and about this guy, they're not good at what they do. So people are talking about this rando on yeah, Reddit. Yeah. So they have, okay, so let's say. You, you're doing like continuing education for like whatever your profession is or whatever your hobby is, right? Like you always want to continually train. You like, it doesn't matter, like golfing, baseball, your work, yeah, being I a have medic. To do continuing yeah, education yeah. every two There's, years. Yeah. You, you always want to surround yourself with people within your industry or right. tangential industries right. that can help you improve yeah, whatever you're sense. doing, right? So there are people that know what they're doing. There are other Green Berets. There are other Rangers. There are other SEALs. There are these other people that are highly qualified, SWAT team members, whatever. Right. And they go to their training and they report back like, I just paid for an internet celebrity to fucking talk to me about politics for four hours. We didn't even actually talk about, you know, or go through the motions of any of these new things. Like they're just preaching whatever his new conspiracy theory is. Ew, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah. And this is this is the JSOC Archives Reddit. Like, these are pretty much all people that are in special operations. Right, right. 
And they all echo the same sentiment. Sam. Yeah. So I, you know if your peers don't like you, yeah. you're not a good dude. I haven't, I haven't seen anybody Say trying anything to defend positive? Me. Well, no, no, no. People have, people have said things that are said positive things. Okay. But I haven't heard anybody outright defend. They've said, oh, I went to his class and, you know, he brought up some good points and he learned this and that. But, like, he spent a lot of time... He showed up late. He left early. He, all he did was talk about himself, and then we didn't even have like one-on-one time with him, and he just kind of disappeared. So it's a it's a celebrity cameo essentially. Mm. Like you pay a premium because you think it's this badass right, that's going right. to teach you something new, and then he's got his underlings there that are doing all the heavy lifting, gotcha. and he's playing on his phone and doing whatever and ignoring the class. Trolling people on YouTube, probably. And this is this is what people on Reddit and people on Twitter are saying about these two guys. Gotcha. So, yeah, and we Not did, a good look. I didn't know who the other guy was. You know, he just started his channel. Actually, the day that those comments came in, he had started his channel one year to the day prior, right? And when you look at the trends, because you can see um, like past thirty day video views, you can see past thirty day subscribers. Things like that. Okay. Um, there's some other tools that you can do some other things. But just like a cursory glance, you can look at it. And on everybody's channel publicly, you can see watch time or wa- uh, views. Okay. So you take the views divided by the number of days. And we're averaging about three. He was averaging like fourteen or 1,500 views per day. And we were averaging 300 more than him. And we're with, a brand new channel. Yeah. With three months in and he's a little over a year in. Okay. Nobody watches you is what he said. Okay. Nobody watches us because we have fewer subscribers, but we actually have more people watching us. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, anyways, uh, gave him enough airtime. Fucking try hard, washed up, has been, motherfucker. Try hard? Yeah. I've never heard that term before. The people that don't actually put in effort, but act like they're putting in effort. Like, they talk about it, but they're not actually doing it. It's just another way of saying the same thing. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try hard. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, depending on what happens tomorrow, you know, we'll be watching it. We're not going to try and live stream this time because between the microphone stuff and dealing with road, um, they were in order together. So, they might not be able to split, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay. I'm giving them the opportunity to present us with our options. It might just be a software thing. It might be. It it still sounds better than the other microphones, but it just doesn't sound as good as this one. And they're running the same firmware. They have the same settings. So um, we'll see. But um, all the episodes this week, other than the one that came out today when we were recording, this is obviously being recorded today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if something comes of the hearing, we'll put out that episode on Thursday. Okay. Cool. Cool? Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's really weird. Like, yeah. And I'm trying to have like microphone presence and I don't need to. I don't know. My neck is hurting so bad. 10 out of 10 do not recommend aging guys for the last two weeks. My neck has been Killing me. I even bought new pillows and just even turning my head to look at you is just painful. You wouldn't got, got a professional size and everything. I know, and it didn't help at all. Well, we'll be building our new set hopefully in the next couple hopefully. weeks. So. All right. I'm trying so hard to both look and look at you, and it is hurting. So you need to go get much. one of those things where you put your head in a harness and you just dangle. Stretch your neck out. Or I'm not going a noose. to not a noose. Yeah. Or <laughs> I'm going to order a neck massager off of Amazon that like rests on your shoulders and just So it's a neck pillow that massages you. Maybe, neck. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm like fantasizing about ordering right now. So if anybody has any recommendations, please let me know because oh my neck is killing me. All right. All right. So I've got our first topic. Okay. All right, so do you guys remember the viral sensation dress where everybody either saw gold and white or black and blue? Well, I thought it was. Is it gold and white? 
Yeah, that's what I saw was gold and white. What what color did you say? No, I don't. I don't. I'm trying to remember the color combinations, not what I saw. Oh, okay. Well, um, the the husband was the one who had like originally posted the picture of his wife's dress. No, it was just it was his wife's dress, and it was something that he noticed. And, um, anyways, he, uh, admitted to strangling his wife and attempting to murder her. Um, (laughs) his name is Keir Johnston. He pleaded guilty to attacking his wife, Grace Johnston, in their home in Scotland, um, Two marches ago, and Didn't this is wear the dress in that picture. No, that was that's their that's their wedding picture. So what a fraud. <laughs> that's their wedding she, picture. The, the picture should be her wearing the dress. <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, yeah. So he pleaded guilty, and after all this media sensation, back in 2015 is when that post went viral regarding I, um, I didn't realize how long ago it was there was that there's there's a new one um so it was it was the dress it was the johnny laurel audio thing and then what? there was an audio clip that people were fighting over about the same thing some people heard one some people heard the other oh. and and there was a pair of shoes i don't know maybe. i think about like shoes. converses or something I don't know. the the dress thing and it might be why this is why this came up in the news mm-hmm. because there is another thing trending right now that's very similar and i don't know what it is i'll have to look it up while you continue but yeah so basically he attempted to murder his wife um not anything regarding the dress at all but it is just the same couple that went viral because of the dress and it doesn't even say like what his reason was he was just discontent in his marriage so would you resort to strangling me if you were just simply discontent in our marriage? No. Oh, and by the way, that, Good happened, answer. In, that happened in May. What happened in May? That story that you're reading happened in May. Uh, no, March. Well, this is coming up as May, but... This is March 6, 2022. Cool. What? Yeah, what? and it just, it just is recirculating probably because of but I didn't hear about it at all when it actually happened. It did did it make like real news or did it just make social media? No, it made real news. Okay. But only because they were internet sensations because of the okay. dress. You say so. But yeah. Don't don't strangle me. What's next? All right. That was a boring story. Yeah, sorry. It wasn't it wasn't as uh, entertaining as this next one. So, a Brazilian woman chopped off her husband's dick and flushed it down the toilet. Okay. And then... Did he want her to? Did he want her to? With all these people that want to be Chinese and stuff? No, no. She caught him cheating. Mm -hmm. It was his punishment for cheating, putting his dick where it didn't belong. And they're in Brazil? Yeah, they're in Brazil. But then, here's the craziest part of it all. He posted her bail he bailed her out of jail okay. and hired her a lawyer to defend herself for cutting his dick off and flushing it down the toilet What's, what are they gonna do are they gonna stay together it actually doesn't say but um she is sentenced to jail for five years so we'll see what are they what was what were the uh charges though like Mm, doesn't say. Okay. You're come on, dead air. Just, <laughs> you're supposed to be talking. Can you tell I, Patrick? I didn't. I didn't know you weren't going to contribute at all. Okay. All right. So, um, since we're talking about marriages, you're supposed to be a host. That means you have to carry the show when the other person's not talking. No, I'm not. I'm a you co-host. I'm not a. You're a, you're a host. I'm not a host. When you I'm have a two, co-host. When you have two people, you are okay. co-hosts. Okay. Anyways. So we're talking about marriages, and I didn't know this until recently, but apparently what you and I do is considered Scandinavian sleep method, and it is being promoted as... What? I'll I'll get to that. It's being promoted as helping save marriages because 
The Scandinavian sleep method is having your own blanket. Each partner in the marriage has their own blanket. You have your blanket. I have my blanket. I like a down comforter. He likes this, I don't know, fuzzy, thin blanket thing. Right, right. So that's, that's what it's called. And it's being encouraged to help save marriages because... If one is uncomfortable or getting the covers pulled off or whatever, it leads to animosity. So if you each have your own blanket, less animosity in the bedroom, everybody's comfortable, you've got your comfort level and want to be cool and I'm just calling breezy it, I'm just and calling keep it, your balls aired out. I'm just calling it I want to be normal. cozy. I'm just calling it sleeping normal. No, but then... On the flip side, so you and I... doesn't need to be Scandinavian. You and I both have to sleep with a fan on, and not just one fan. We actually have two fans. But now, apparently, sleeping with a fan on is, quote-unquote, detrimental to your health. That literally just came out like two days ago or something like that. I said, get fucked on that one, because there's no way... That what possible I, I honestly I didn't even read the article. I yeah. was like, I'm I'm not even going to contribute to that mentality of having the fan on is detrimental to my health. Nope. I could I just I wouldn't be able to sleep without it. I've always had the ceiling fan on. I never had like a dedicated fan. My ceiling fan didn't like make a lot of noise. Well, I grew up without AC. So I grew people, up with most people do it for like the white noise effect. Right. And I grew I, up with a ceiling fan and a window fan. So I need both of those noises. Obviously, my second fan is not in the window because we have AC, but I have a Dyson Tower because it's also see, I don't an think, air purifier. I don't think I, I think that the discrepancy here for me versus other people mm-hmm. and veterans like me and other people okay. is that we are so used to just sleeping when and where we can that everything else just doesn't matter like i can sleep if it's too hot but because i can control it now i don't i can sleep on a fucking rock but because i have a pillow now i don't i can sleep anywhere in any conditions because i, I have can't but you also you spend entirely too much time like in bed you have to you have to condition yourself as well like when you're in the bedroom you should be sleeping okay so this is the biggest difference between you and i going into the bedroom and winding down (coughs) in bed is my decompression from being overstimulated from being around humans. Okay, but you... And that's something that you will never understand because you don't get overstimulated from being around other humans. But you complain about not getting a good night's sleep almost every night. So it clearly doesn't work. Whereas I go into the room sometime between 11 and midnight and I wake up between 6 and 7 and I'm ready to go. I don't go into the room until I'm ready to go to bed, and I go to bed. And I no longer want to be around other humans after 8 o'clock at night. You can do that without laying in your bed? Uh, no, because you are there, so I have to go into the bedroom. There's other, there's other rooms and places and activities you don't No. Yeah. Yeah. Now, all other rooms have other children in them, because they're going to bed as well. So? No, my only option to remove myself and decompress for the day is to go can, in can, to my bedroom. You can sit in the kitchen. You can sit at the dining room table. You can no, come here to the office. No, you don't see. You don't understand. You and it's something garage. that you will never understand. But I'm getting good sleep and you're not, so I don't need to understand it. See? So we are we're only 24 minutes in. Was that all of it? No, that was not all of it. <sighs> okay. Interesting fact. Nick Cannon has insured his balls for $10 million after he has welcomed his 12th child. 
So, Andrew, would you like to insure your balls? Says your insurance agent, Weiss. No, I don't even understand why you would. Um, a lot of celebrities insure appendages. I have never heard testicles. I know J-Lo has her legs insured, I believe. Um, there's... But that's because that's how they make money. Exactly. That's why this doesn't make sense. Well. He's not on welfare. He's not making money from child support. It doesn't make any so sense. so weird to me, which is why I thought it was funny. Thought it was funny. It doesn't. It still doesn't make any sense. But it's funny. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. But it's funny. You have to admit, it's funny. I can't think of a single reason why somebody would do that. Okay, maybe he's genuinely worried that one of his multiple baby mamas are going to chop his balls off and say, you're not allowed to have any more children. I don't... Okay, so... But still, insuring them isn't going to sell them back onto you. Right. But he would be compensated, at least. I can't imagine it's a lot. Does it say how much? Ten million dollars. I already said that. So he'd be compensated ten million or up to ten million dollars if one of his baby mamas chopped him off. Is somebody threatening to do this to him? I don't know. I don't know him personally. Why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him? You do you're, the, you're the one on social media. You can Has ask anyone Nick ever... Cannon. Oh, <laughs> Has anyone ever threatened to chop Nick Cannon's balls off? 50 Cent threatens to kick Nick Cannon's ass. Ah! It's funny. Okay. Actually, I really like 50 Cent. I think the things that he's been saying about Diddy are hilarious. Hold on. There's, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> There's more to this. <laughs> threatens to kick Nick Cannon's ass after he goes after Eminem. Uh, 50 Cent was waiting into a feud between Eminem and Nick Cannon. Instagram Tuesday. This is a couple of months ago. This was no, it was a couple of years ago. Holy shit! <laughs> 2019 is when all this happened. Oh, okay. Uh, and he's had like seven kids since then. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll kick your ass when I see you, punk. Blah blah. blah. And they responded to 50 Cent's comments, sharing a photo of Sam Jackson alongside the crying laughing emoji. Okay. Uh, previously claimed something, something, something. <laughs> Said that uh, Mariah, whoever Mariah is. Mariah Carey. Is that who he was dating at this time? That's who he was married to. Oh. Said uh, pussy's got him neutered, is what Eminem said. <laughs> uh, Try to tell him nut job. Because Jules clipped almost. No, this makes sense. This is stupid. <laughs> so he retaliated against 50 Cent by going and impregnating like four different women, having like 10 more kids since then. This is all dumb. All these people are dumb. Nick, I think oh, he's the, only got... the first Reddit thread that comes up is Nick Cannon lost his balls. There's some sort of vote. I don't know what this is. 50,000 plus votes. Versus Eminem and 11 Nick Cannon. 11% went to Nick Cannon. 89% went I to Eminem. Like democracy is the meme below. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This person, Nick, puts out two diss tracks. Eminem, nothing. Winner, Eminem. <laughs> I mean, does Nick Cannon even make music anymore? I think he had like... I don't even know what he does anymore other than procreate. I don't follow any of these people. Which, speaking of procreating, Elon Musk, again, another baby. He has like 25 babies now or something ridiculously What's the new crazy. One's name? I have no idea, but it's with oh. um the, the Neuralink CEO. I thought that was like a year ago. He has like three babies with her. It's the third one. How many kids does Elon Musk have? <laughs> Seven. That's it? It feels like a lot more. He has a, Is that per mom? He has, he has a, a, a daughter named Vivian. Okay. Vivian Jenna Wilson. Okay. Then Techno Mechanicus something. <laughs> Mechan no, Techno Mechanicus Musk. Okay. 
Um, Nevada, Alexander Musk, Saxon Musk, Kai Musk, Damian Musk, Griffin Musk. Okay, well, that's one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. What happened to the X? Yeah, no, 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 no. That is definitely not accurate. Be- that. No, you know, this says you almost 12 kids. In yeah, Canada. yeah. I was about to say the seven has to be not accurate because I think he has four different baby moms and I think they each have at least two to four kids per mom this the tesla ceo elon musk confirmed earlier his third child with Neuralink director siobhan zillis earlier this year so i knew about this one making the tech mogul a father to at least 12 children right at least 12 that are confirmed half of his kids were born in the past five years so that's six and five years that's one of the other six born the previous five years like um I well know. i think I, just, I think the first two were with his wife that he was with for quite a while and then they divorced and then but, but i'm what i'm getting at though is when the news uses lines like that right. they're like this happened in the last period of time and you're like okay so could be a hundred years ago it could be one year yeah, ago yeah. did did all did the other six come in one year prior yes like you, <laughs> i mean the context also matters yeah. if if it's six and five years that's not like for a man that's not like crazy if you have sex with several women for a woman to have six in five years she'd have to be every, like pop it out go right back to it pop it out go right back to it like it you don't know if it's a boy or girl i know but just you're just degrading what, it no, no. Down. So, so so if you have nine months on the dot right and then, so six kids. Yeah, that would work out where you could probably get close to having seven. You're leaving a quarter of the year for five years. That's a year and a quarter. So you could you could get six and you could be pregnant with the seventh in that period. If, if it literally went two that terms. That would be next to impossible if you are breastfeeding. But it's not impossible. Right. It's not impossible, but it's next to impossible if you are breastfeeding. But it's not impossible. I didn't get my period back until like a year and a half later after each each child that I had. Okay, but that's but that's completely anecdotal and your You're body right. is not the same as somebody else's. And I, I understand that. Yeah. But so I'm it, saying it's possible. Somebody could somebody could um, you know and there's also the possibility of Twins, triplets, so anything is possible in life yeah. if you uh, work hard enough at it and put your dick in it long enough. Didn't somebody set a record recently, like seven or eight kids or something like that? They literally have a. There's liberty. a record. Yeah. Of having. What's the record for a human birth? I don't. I couldn't think of what to ask to follow. Like, <laughs> what's the record for most children born from a single birth? Well, the Octomom had eight. Uh, non-nuplets or nine babies in Morocco three years ago. Non-nuplets. Yep. Halima CC or something along those lines. Okay. And then the, per- the other person, the eight was in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Six boys and two girls in California. Mm-hmm. What do you even do? Like. You go and buy the soccer van, and you're like, I don't want to know the sex. And then all of a sudden, instead of needing a soccer van, you need an entire like utility panel van. Well, Optimum, I know for a fact, was not. Uh... What's the, how many kid? how many people can you get without buying a bus? How many, or how many people can you fit into like one of those vans? Like a Ford? The, the train, aren't they 15 passenger? How many passengers can you fit in a transit van? 12 to 15, depending on the configuration. Okay. So you literally have to go from whatever you were driving to yeah. a transit van or two vehicles. Which if you're a single mom and Octomom was a single mom. But you would probably still need, but you would probably still need two vehicles, even if two transit vans, even if you were, because if you have half the kids need to go to one event and the other half need to go to the other event, you still need, what, seven seats. Mm-hmm. 
per vehicle. That's I mean, that's perfect. two minivans right there. But that's two perfect halves. So yeah, you either have to have, yeah, you either have to have two vans or two Suburbans mm -hmm. or a transit van and a seven passenger vehicle at a minimum, but you probably need the transit and van. And a crew because, of nannies. Because sometimes, sometimes you might have four need to go here and eight need to go there, but then sometimes you need the perfect split Sometimes they have their friends with them. I had a dream last night that I was pregnant. You have this dream like all the time. <laughs> I told you it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You're going to wake up one day and be like, um. Um. Yeah. um yep. <laughs> I'm going to be 35 this year. Did you know that if you're pregnant after 35, you're, you're a geriatric, geriatric yeah. pregnancy. Yes, I do know that because I know because you had your rotations. It's no, because I had so to, degrading. That's part of like so AB degrading. For nursing. Yeah, so degrading. It's because of your body systems and functions so and hormones. That has nothing to do with your actual age. Your time trips around the sun. Yeah, maybe thirty five. I can't get pregnant. <laughs> I, I mean, you could. <laughs> there's people there's people having babies like in their 50s and shit now. i know yeah. i know and there's a whole spike on women taking ozempic and getting pregnant yeah. because it is correcting pcos issues that women have thought that they were infertile and then all of a sudden getting pregnant and it's also um there has combating to... against uh, birth control for women who don't have PCOS. I can't imagine. I can't imagine being seventy plus years old the first time that my kid gets to have a sip that of beer would be legally. Crazy. Yeah, you're never. You're never really going to be a grandparent because right. You'll potentially be sick, wheelchair bound, whatever. Like, yeah. how many people are truly, completely lucid and mobile? At your kid's high school graduation, having to push you in your wheelchair because you're... Yeah. And and that's like, we're talking like first world country yeah. stuff. Yeah. You go to like a third world country or anywhere like where healthcare, like people can talk about the cost of healthcare all they want, but mm -hmm. we still have the best healthcare. Like you go somewhere else and you're not going to have those doctors. You're not going to have that equipment. You're not going to be ambulatory... And you're not going to be doing the things that you want to do at the age that you want unless you are taking care of yourself and doing yeah. all those things. But I don't know. Getting old is scary. I'm I'm already feeling it with my neck. My what was that? Neck. Oh, it was um the dude from Vietnam. I can't think of his name now. Dude from Fat, Fat Electrician just did the video about it. The guy from Mackey's song. Yeah. I think you're right. Roy something, yeah. Uh, Master Sergeant mm -hmm. video that just came out yesterday. Um, he was like four or five when his dad died. And then his mom got remarried a year later. And she died when he was six. And his stepdad at his deathbed was like, I'm not taking care of her at her deathbed. It's like, I'm not taking care of somebody else's children. And so they I were, swear to God, if you do that. They were taken I in. I will haunt you from my grave. They were taken in by, um, I think his dad, their dad's brother, I think is what he said. It might have been mom, but I'm pretty sure it was dad. Um, but the way he talked about it made it seem like they had never met these people before. Like he was introduced to them at the funeral. Like that's where, oh. they, that's where they were picked up was at their mom's funeral. That's terrifying for yeah. a young child. I yeah. mean, all of that is very traumatic. And it was the two of them. He never talked about his, their half-sister again after that, so who knows what that relationship was like. But mm. um, And if he never said anything about it, his stepdad ever regretted it. Or I'm assuming that means he didn't adopt them because that'd be the only way that right. the court would let you just... Bye. Right. So, yeah. Speaking of bye, uh, this lady went viral a couple weeks ago for taking her children to CPS and dropping them off because, and I quote, she was too busy with work and school and she needed a break. So what do they do with them? And she was, she was live streaming this. That's why she went viral. A why, like... What do they do with the children? Do they just 
yeah, just, they have to take them because it's obviously in the children's best interest to no longer be with the mother because she is quite literally saying, I cannot take care of my children How anymore. How old are they? Around our kid's age, like under 10, elementary school. So they're going to go into like the foster care system. Yes. And probably not be able to stay together. How many of them are there? I don't know exactly. There were a few of them, so probably three or four. Very, very sad. And the fact that she was live streaming this is crazy to me. Crazy. Well, that's all we have. <laughs> that's all we have. Yeah. So <laughs> tune in Thursday um, for whether or not what we talking about Mike's situation or not. Um, I don't know what all is supposed to come of that hearing, because it's some it's some sort of waiver hearing. So for everybody, it's like it's going to be dropped. He's going to be no, it's not being fucking dropped. Do you think there's a possibility that they will ask for a second continuance if that medical evidence has not been turned over? They they had to have. if if they haven't if they haven't provided it, then they're just uh, like the judge. Oh, I thought that if they haven't provided it. At that point, they're allowed to compel it. They might. They can't. Uh, oh, the I don't court, know. The court can't. Right. Sorry. That's that's what I was talking about, the court. By the they, court, the court doesn't need about, it. Oh, okay. Never mind. I mean, they want the court to have it because they want to present that as evidence to say that, you know, downplay the situation. Gotcha. Okay. But the court doesn't need it, nor do they care about it. Okay. So... Okay. Get subscribed, leave a comment, and we will see you on Thursday. And win $500. We will see you on Thursday. Yes.